everybody, this is Tim coming at you with a first look at a game called The Cub for the Nintendo Switch, but it is also available on Steam and PlayStation. So plenty of choices to choose from for now. Um, and it's something that I saw during last summer's uh, gaming events that, that came about. But basically, it's a platformer similar to what I read like uh, the old Disney platformers of the 90s um, either on Sega or SNES the old school tough type platformers uh, but with modern twist is what they wrote down here so um, but I liked the aesthetic of it the art artistry of it and the story that was trying to tell basically your post-apocalyptic earth uh, your mutant child trying to survive on this earth because of all the chaos that happened before where uh, rich people left the planet and went to Mars to live. They come back and find you and start hunting you for whatever reason. But uh, we'll find out in this story, in this story, in this game. And I also found out that this game is only about four to five hours long. So I won't do too much of a first look. Hopefully this will be quick just to get started and see how it plays. Uh, but then, uh, um, because of how quick it is, I hope to have also a review posted soon, if not already. So this game comes out on January tw uh, 19th, uh, and it is $14.99 in the US eShop. Um, by the time you see this, it should be available to pre-order. I believe um, but then again it won't be available to January 19th uh, but and also too I'm hoping to have a review out so I'll give my take on what I think of the game but we'll see <laughs> you'll probably get a take of you'll probably see my take on it the first maybe 20 minutes that we're into this 15 20 minutes so it's an ad action adventure or excuse me adventure arcade puzzle platformer the story intrigued me, the art intrigued me. A lot about this intrigued me, and it seemed like a world I wanted to definitely play in. So right now I've got I'm not I'm playing through my OBS, so hopefully the timing doesn't throw me off. Um if I need to, I'll switch it over to my monitor so I can take any lag away. All right. So again, this is what caught my eye, was the artistry on it. <laughs> Already, I'm starting to like it. I just, just, started, just started playing it. So press A to roll while landing. OK. There we go. Oh, I just did a slide. I found that out. Hold ZR to push and pull objects, okay? Nice. I also read that there's gonna be some puzzle elements into the platforming, so of course this is some of that. Press B while in midair to perform a double jump. Press B while in air to perform a double jump. That's what I did, and I also used the branch. All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Good noise there. All right. I don't know where the noises came from, but... Press B and hold left to jump from the edge. Press B. All right. Gonna have to jump over that. Swing. Do, do, do. There's a wolf back there. Nice. 
There's a there's a wolf in the foreground too. I love it when when uh, artists do that in a game. Press X to interact. Nice. The days were hot. Fish died in the lake. Plants yellowed. Birds stopped singing. There was thunder, but no rain. You call this period the Great Ecological Catastrophe. I heard my mother's heartbeat as she carried me to Alphaville. People chased us. I remember her driving and bison running by. Then we reached the flooded city with refugees in rubber boats. Suddenly, I couldn't find Mama. I was scared and alone. I'll never know whether she died or abandoned me. I only remember the rockets leaving from Mars. That night, the fighting started. I ran deep into the forest. A she-wolf found me and raised me with her cops. People who didn't make it into the rockets were dying in combat. And from the mutating environment. But we, the orphans and animals, didn't fight. Instead, together we adapted to nature that grew out of the rubble. Many moons passed, and then one day, some humans returned. They called themselves Martians. They flew around, dressed in yellow. They went hunting and played golf. I would steal their golf balls for fun. It really upset them. But then one day, I found a dead Martian. I took off his helmet and put it on. There was music playing in it. After years of only speaking wolf, I listened to the Martian radio and learned human language again. After the group left, one full moon later, I was chasing a tasty bug when another spaceship with new Martians arrived. It soon became clear they were trouble. Hmm. Son of no one. Greetings, all you Tesla City Martians out there. You're listening to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. The show for those who miss a morning run in the park, slurping minestrone soup, sailing with the wind in their hair, singing in unison with thousands of people at a music concert, or smelling the coming rain. In other words, the show for the long lost days of Earth. I like the music. Uh, now what do I need to do here? Slide. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, I got to figure out that one. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> Alright, so there's no lives. But you gotta definitely figure out some of this stuff here. show with Son of No One, a song I'm fairly certain resonates with many of us orphans of the earth out here in the stuffy depths of space. Speaking of stuffy air, please don't attempt to open portal windows to let some fresh air in. It's unbelievable that we have to mention this, but we're living in pressurized domes, people. Breathing recycled air is just the new normal. In totally unrelated news, the memorial of Baroness von Willenschitz. <laughs> it's hard to play and, the family and try to listen to the radio. <laughs> to respectfully stay away from the funeral no, ceremony. Alphaville Post Investigative in Journalist is missing. On deck three at 7 p.m. dawn time. Interesting. All right, on with the show. I ate some food. Continue game, load checkpoint. Okay, so there's checkpoints. Cave. Oops. Settings. We know about settings. What's the cave? Oh, it looks like some things I've collected. And I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. Burps. Books. Radio shows. USB. Oh, come back down here. Newspaper, which I found that. Okay. Videos. So it's collectibles. And that's it. Alright, so we got through all of that. Oh, checkpoint. Continue game. Alright, let's go back. That bug is helping me guide my way. and I can make it do that. That's funny. Sounds like my dog when he gets upset. Come on. Darn it. Come on. Come get me. I want you to... I like how it laughs before it does that. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Ha ha. There we go. Complete Insurgent's Guide to Military AI Hacking. This history of all hitherto existing society is the history of class struggles, the famous opening of the most important insurgent text in which Carl May, the first brilliantly criticize, criticizes Alphaville's history of exploitation of non alphavillians and natural resources, all with the goal of acclimating capital and preparing for an escape to Mars. So see, this is the problem. They say about five to six hours to complete this and they got things I can search. I'm not going to get this done in five to six hours. I'm going to be doing this for like probably 10 to 15 hours. 
Day 23 in the bunker without food. Humidity is off the charts. I shut down the electricity. No contact with the leadership. James died. I have no choice. I'm eating him. Okay. And is it off? Okay. Oh, interesting. So that's a switch. Gotta open that door. Let's get the other things I can collect here. The Prepper's Guide, 150 Essentials for Surviving the Apocalypse. I won't read that all. I won't board you, board you all with that. <laughs> Alright, there's different things there. What else do I got here? Another thing, uh, paper. Alphaville Met Office redefines hurricane to avoid paying damages. All right. Cool. All right. Here we go. Push. We. All right, that's not going to do anything. I thought maybe there would be something there. All right, so let's go on here. I can go up there, but... What can I find down here? That wasn't good. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay then. What else did I find? It's like an underground museum. A crashed airplane. Okay, what up? Wait a minute. Be the other way I could have gone. What's that noise? Is that part of the song? To be up here that's boring no no okay that works there's a vault Well, apparently I found all the gold. Luxury one. All right. So that was what was there. I imagine if I'd gone up the stairs the other way, or the ladder the other way, hopefully I didn't miss out on any collectibles that way. But, very cool. Not Metroidvania in a sense uh, that, you know, can I swing this way? Can I swing high in? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dang it. Ah, a little toddler pop there taking us back to the days of late stage capitalism at its finest. Child labor never sounded so sweet. On that note, it's time for another story, a look back at life on the open road, and a look forward to the long road ahead. Stories, memories, the good okay, so that wasn't a ledge, but I could probably jump over that wall. Do I want to? No, I don't. Crying while riding a Harley Davidson is the actual meaning of life. I'm serious. 
I tried to recreate that feeling here on Mars. So I took a Tesla City Delivery EVA for a spin on the Planitia plane, but it's like driving a janky VR simulation. You made me miss riding my motorcycle, my Jolene, even more. That bug, I'm following the bug, that seems to be right. Extreme heat of July, I took a 4,600 mile trip across America in America. We set yeah, up from California, good. we zigzagged up and down the country and covered 18 states all the way up to New York City where I was to take over my father's company. During the trip, no. the biggest surprise for me was how no. to my feet on no, no, no. Even banal, I just focused on staying alive at 70 miles an hour. But that ledge was there. With crazy winds buffeting in all directions. Oh, hello. So while my mind was this constant barrage of compulsive thoughts, those thoughts were Dang it. practical. How do I get to that destination before dark? <laughs> Am I drinking enough water? Am I hydrating? The bigger picture stuff of why am I doing this and what is life about anyway? Oh, geez, I wasn't even paying attention to the green things in the ground. What the heck? <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, dang it. How? Sometimes I'd wake up so sore I could barely move. My inner thighs had engine burn. And even though those closest to me actually didn't think I'd make it, I was. Holy moly, what the heck here? So after that rite of passage, I knew I could pick up. Instead of being a company whose father would pay for her career, I turned the company into a trillion dollar business. And now. Here I am with my family. Poopy. On Mars. I just ran right into it. Last representatives of okay. In I gotta figure out the timing on this thing. But aside from this high minded idealism, because of these damn EVA suits, there's no wind in the highway here. No okay. open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world like back on Earth. Okay. There's on Mars, all kinds of stuff everywhere here. No matter where you go, isolation seems to. Unlike the open you want me to climb up here? Okay. There's no dancing asphalt in the heat, and no neon lit diners, and 2 a.m. omelets with green bell peppers, and yellow cheddar with a side of burnt hash browns. Dang it. Greasy bacon and black coffee. Instead, there's this barren rock, and strictly monitored oxygen levels and sterile domes. We live in bubbles within bubbles. I admire how far we've come and how resilient we are, but I wonder. Just, maybe we're just fooling ourselves. Just like during my epic ride, we've mostly figured out the banal questions about water and food and sanitation, and now the greater questions mm. are meaning. What are we really doing? What is our future? Gotta be careful here. And what will the meaning of life be for my kids? At any rate, the point is. I miss my family. Ambushed by insurgents, managed to retreat and regroup. There is no drinking water. Thank you for our way back. Us on that ride with you, Brianna. Your story is an inspiration for all. So and it's over here to then. face our difficulties head on and to value the small things in life, even out here on Mars. Motorcycles, grease, wind in the hair. What better way to remember than with some psychedelic rock for the road? Radio nostalgia from Mars. All right. Oh, come on, I was hitting the A button. There's the wolves. Okay, I guess I could, wasn't meant to make that. I thought I was going to die there. <laughs> There's something over here. See, this is the searching part. I have to look. Nope, there's nothing over here. Where is there? Nope, okay. Can I dive? Oh yeah, I can dive. What's that? Explore. Oh, 
I guess I can't. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm not meant to be swimming that much, I guess. Well, there's no air meter. Come on. That'd be cool if there were trophies on the Nintendo version. Alright, that was a save point. Hello, you. Glad I did a double jump there. Here where I see these ledges. There we go. See, I need the newspapers. All right. So, where do I jump from here? Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just going along here. Oops. What the heck? How am I supposed to get across there? Hazards, what the heck? Did I hit something? Maybe I hit a snail that I couldn't see. Maybe I'm still underwater here. Alright, I think that's a good amount of game that I showed off there. It's about 25 minutes worth, I think, without giving away too much. Again, this game is set to be four to five hours long. And I almost dropped my controller there. Let's do that again. Okay. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be four to five hours. So check it out. Um, this, again, is inspired by the 90s. Disney type games like the Jungle Book, Aladdin, Lion King, those type of games. So if you like those type of platformers, this is going to be right up your alley. It's supposed to be brutal. That's why I kept running into those things. Got to be aware of the environment. But I appreciate the story that it's trying to tell too. So definitely check out the untoldtales.game slash games slash the dash cub. <laughs> I'll put the link in the description below for details about this game 
and where you can pick it up at as well. I'm playing it on the Nintendo Switch, but again, it should be available on Steam and or PlayStation so for $15. So until next time, this is Tim doing a first look on the Cub for the Nintendo Switch, and I'll check you later. Bye-bye.